I've got a WUG server, but I want to create a custom monitor using PowerShell. <laughs> you know what? We can do that. So let's run through the process of creating both an active monitor and a performance monitor in WUG using a PowerShell script. So I've got my demo WUG environment here. I'm logged into it with an administrator account. So I'm going to bring up the monitor library here so we can create our monitor. So the first thing we're going to create here is an active monitor. So this is one that just returns true or false, basically. I hit the add button, select active monitor here. There we go. And <laughs> you can see that it's already got PowerShell active monitor selected because that's what I've been playing with recently. <laughs> we'll leave it there with PowerShell active monitor. I'm going to click OK here. And the next screen it brings up is just the example script that it has. So I'm going to write just a very basic PowerShell monitor to just kind of demonstrate what it does. And I'm just going to call this the, the PS demo monitor. Leave, it, leave the description as PowerShell monitor. Of course, you want to make these descriptive so you know what's what. And here, the really important part of this example script here is this context.set result. So this is what tells the monitor if it was successful or not. So zero is successful, one is unsuccessful, really against standard, but that, that's how what does it. So if we wanted to say, you notice the example also had a, a semicolon at the end, it's not C sharp people. And this result text value here, this can be any string. So you can build a string in PowerShell so it's got data in it, like names, processes, uh, you know, whatever you're monitoring for. So in this case, I'm just going to say true and false. So just a really simple example uh, using that context.set result. I'm going to hit OK. So we've got our PowerShell active monitor. So let's create a performance monitor. So this is going to return a value that we can graph. I'm going to go back to the plus sign, select performance monitor. And from this list, we're going to create a PowerShell performance monitor and then hit select. I want to give it a name here. Again, this is a really simple example. This is probably not something you would use in production. Uh, so the really important part here is using the, the context variable and the set value method on it. And you notice again that their example has a semicolon. We're going to get rid of that. The value in here is the graphable value that you want to return. I'm going to return the current minutes. We can actually get a graphable value here. So we can actually see a graph of what it's returning so that we know that it's working. So again, I don't know why in any production environment you want to monitor what the current minute is. Uh, but this is just a really simple monitor example using PowerShell, how to get it to work. I've got my blah host here. It's not an actual device or anything. But what we're going to do, uh, this is just, again, for demonstration purposes, we're going to add our monitors to this device. So first, we'll add an active monitor. And we're going to grab our PS demo monitor that we created. Let's see, enable polling, yes, finish, cool. I'll create another, I'm going to add in the performance monitor as well. So we've got, a, since it's in the library, we're using a library monitor. So I'll select my PS minute monitor. Next, and I'm going to say every one minute. So we get a value every minute. Finish here. There we go. Now we've got both of these, hopefully, polling already. Let's check out the device status here. And on device status, we'll bring up the monitoring page. We can see, okay, so there we go. So we've got our monitors. So let's look at our PS demo monitor, our active monitor that we created. And we can actually check out the active monitor availability to see if it's up. So it's up. So that means that it returned true. The set result was zero, meaning it was successful. So that's what we expected there. And then let's check out our minute monitor as well. Look at the custom performance monitor page here. All right, so last poll, 53 seconds, so we should see it soon. But I don't want to just see the last polled value. I want to look at, I want to see a graph. I really like graphs. So we're going to look at today, and we should see it going up. There we go. So we went from the 24th minute to the 25th minute. Sweet. So we are actually getting value from here. Uh, again, this is just a demo on, on how to get PowerShell to create monitors. So what I'm hoping you're going to use that information to create some really cool PowerShell scripts because I really like PowerShell. And it's really neat that WUG allows you to, uh, to build these custom monitors. So that's how you create active and performance monitors in What's Up Gold using a PowerShell script.